Hello, Worry Warriors. I am Counselor Carrie, and I am back to talk to you for another Worry Warrior check. So if you remember, last time we got together, we talked about worries that we can control and worries that we can't control and how to know the difference. So sometimes we focus on things that we can't control. I do it, you might do it, lots of people do it. But when we start to focus on those things that we can't control, sometimes our thoughts and our bodies can start to feel out of control too. Our thoughts might be racing or swirling around and it's really hard to think or we might have that really fast beating heartbeat like we talked about when we talked about the physical signs of worry. We might have really rapid breathing and it might feel like it's really hard to slow down. So today I'm going to teach you a strategy or a worry warrior battle skill for how to deal with that. So our worry warrior question of the day is what can I do if I feel out of control? So our battle skill that we'll practice today is called grounding and it's not like you get grounded and you have to go to your room and you can't use your tablet or your computer. It's called grounding because because we're gonna feel ourselves grounded to the present moment. Grounding is all about interrupting those out of control, swirling thoughts and connecting with our environment and our present moment. So I'm gonna walk you through three different ways to do this. First, we'll use our senses to, use, to practice grounding. Second, we will look for colors in our environment. And third, we're gonna actually physically touch the things that are around us. So when you're ready, go ahead and get comfortable in your space. Now. You can listen to me walk you through the activity and if you want to you can pause the video after i walk you through one and you can practice it on your own and then come back and we'll practice the next one so get comfortable in your environment and we'll practice our first grounding activity which is all about using our senses so first i want you to look around your environment and just name five things that you can see right now five real things that are around you Now, I want you to name four things that you can hear in your environment. This might be a little bit tricky. You might have to really pause and try to push away your thoughts and tune into what you hear around you. Right now, I can hear my own voice. I can hear my air conditioner running. I can hear the fan spinning in another room, and I can hear cars driving by on the road. So I'm gonna stop talking for just a moment so you can tune into your environment and see what you can hear right now. Next, we're going to identify three things that you can smell in your environment. Maybe you can smell something that um, somebody in your family cooked for the last meal. Maybe you can smell um, a candle that someone was burning recently. Maybe you can smell fresh laundry around you. Just take a moment to really use your sense of smell and identify three things that you can smell in your environment. Now, I want you to identify two things in your environment that you can touch, two things that you can reach out and touch right now. Now this last one, it can feel a little bit tricky sometimes, but we're going to identify one thing you can taste. It doesn't mean that you're going to go find something to eat right now. You just kind of tune into what you're tasting right now. It might be the last meal that you ate, or it might be something that you drank a few minutes ago. Just really pay attention to your sense of taste and see what you can taste right now. So Worry Warriors, that's our first grounding activity. It's all about using your senses. First, you identify five things you can see, then four things you can hear, three things you can smell, two things you can touch, and one thing you can taste. That helps you to just connect to what's going on around you right now, instead of focusing on that worry thought that feels like it's spinning out of control. Now, let's practice our second grounding activity, and it's called rainbow grounding. So what I want you to do is just use your eyesight, and you're going to look around. First, you're gonna find something in your environment that's red, then something in your environment that's orange, something that's yellow, something that's green, something that's blue, and something that's purple. So I just want you to take a moment right now to try to look around and find something that, that is each of those colors. You might need to get up and move around. If you're not around a lot of color right now, that's okay. But you're just gonna be looking for real things that are in your environment right now. So if you wanna go ahead and pause to do that, you can.
Okay, Worry Warriors, that was our second grounding activity, rainbow grounding. You're just looking around your environment and finding things for each color of the rainbow. It's very simple, but it's a way to um, make your brain focus on what's really around you, just like in our senses activity. Now, our third and final grounding activity that we'll practice today is called texture grounding. So you're actually going to move around your environment and touch things. What I want you to do is just run your hand over some things in your environment. Notice the texture, notice how it feels on your hand and describe it in your mind. You might even want to describe it aloud and that's okay too. So you might see a couch or a sofa around you and I want you to just run your hand over it and describe it. Maybe it's really soft. Maybe it's a little bit bumpy. You might notice some hard edges or a hard seam on the sofa. Then you might notice some bumps. You might run your hand across them and notice that they're very firm or they're very slick and they have very sharp corners. Then you might notice there's some laundry piled up near you. You might want to run your hand over that and notice how soft it is and how it kind of falls under your hand. Just describe the texture of these items in your environment, in your mind, or aloud. Then you can start to compare them. You can say, well, the books have um, edges just like part of the sofa did, but the book edges are a little bit harder than the sofa edges. You're just going to be talking through the texture of these things in your environment. So again, you're using your senses because you're using your eyesight and you're using your um, sense of touch to feel these items and describe them. And you're focusing your brain on your present environment. So if you wanna to pause to try this right now in your environment, go ahead and do that now. Okay, Worry Warriors, so that was our battle skill of grounding. We tried three different activities. First, it was our senses grounding, then our rainbow grounding, and finally, our texture grounding. These are activities that you can do when you feel like your worries are just spiraling out of control in your mind, or you feel like the body sensations with your worry are just too much to handle right away. It's just a way to interrupt those thoughts and really connect to your present moment and your present environment and refocus your mind on those things that are real and those things that are happening right around you instead of things that might happen later. That's it for today, Worry Warriors. I'll see you next time.